Here is a bowl of chayote, pepinella, the squash. I'm gonna eat this one up. These are like perfect, ready to go. I cook them up later in the video. I just wanted to show you what they look like sprouted. That will turn into a huge vine. There you go. Chayote pepinella. Yes. It's delicious. Interesting. But you don't want to peel them like this, green. You want to cook them and then peel them. That's the little trick. So we're gonna boil some of them up. Here we have some chayote or pepinella and it's just a vine growing on this old uh, dead citrus tree just letting uh, the vine grow on it and using this old citrus tree as a trellis. Some other chayotes, smaller one, just the leaf. Yes, chayote. Let's see if this chayote is ready. Or we call it pipinella here. So, pipinella, chayote, whatever you want to call it. It's still delicious. Okay, so the water is boiling. Nice, oh yeah. Okay, yeah, I think that's it's pretty soft. Yeah, I think that's ready. I'm gonna let this cool down and then peel it. You don't want to eat the skin. Just let that cool down for a second. Actually, probably about 20 minutes to let it cool down. It was boiling. Okay, it's cooled down enough. So I can peel it. I'm gonna save this part right here, right in the middle. It's like the seed. That's really good. Really good stuff right there. So you don't want the skin. So I'm gonna peel it with this really big knife. It's fairly simple. Just get a hold of it, you know, on the edge on one end and just peel it like that. There you go. Let's continue peeling the whole thing. It's fairly tough skin. You definitely don't want to eat it. Very fibrous. I mean, yeah, I guess you could eat it, but it's not, not a whole bunch of it. <laughs> there we go. Fairly easy to peel. Now this would be really hard if it was not cooked. It'd be really hard to peel it if it was just green. So, it's really juicy from the water. And you can fry this. You know, like I could fry it if I had a frying pan, it's coconut oil, fry it up, with some turmeric and some soy sauce or something. It'd be really good. But I'm just gonna eat it like this. Cut it up. Um, 
however I want. I can eat it. <laughs> I can, it's just soft enough. I can just, you know, with the spoon, I can eat it. I'm gonna try some new salt. Got this, this is uh, Aloha Salt Company. Uh, some guava, lime, smoked Hawaiian salt. Let's try this out. Okay. Let's see how this smells. Ooh, that does smell good. What do we got in here? Okay, so we got lime juice, sea salt, lime oil. Oh yeah, all sorts of good stuff. Smoked on guava wood chips. Oh yeah. On there, give it some flavor. It doesn't have much flavor, and so you're gonna need some kind of flavoring. Okay, well, let's see how this is. Mm. It takes up whatever flavor you put on it very well it's definitely a squash but uh, squash flavor but very mild very mild it it really takes up the flavor so if I was to like marinate this or something or or uh, you know I got some hot sauce or something it would really absorb the, the garlic and, and cilantro or whatever you would you know flavor this with Mm. Put the lime salt, smoked guava lime salt. Mm. Awesome. Oh yeah. And this is the seed you know, where the sprout comes from. This is the best part actually. It's it's like creamy. Mmm. Yes. Kind of like a um, sprouted. Uh, almond so oh yeah there we go <laughs> survival food right here if you found this in the jungle you'd be stoked now this grows in Brazil Mexico uh, it's known as different names you know they it's all these different uh, you know nicknames for it basically pipinella chayote is one of the more common uh, names for this squash okay so I'm gonna wrap this video up right here I hope you guys like this video, comment. I'm here for any questions. And yeah, I'm I'm gonna enjoy the rest of this. This is really good. Now until next time. Hello.